welcome to N Business and you're watching N Business Icons. Today we have a very prominent person with us. He is an aerospace entrepreneur, a scientist and definitely a co-founder of Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited. So let's welcome Pawan with us. Hello Mr. Pawan. Hello Tarani. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Fantastic. Firstly, congratulations Thank you. for the uh, launch. Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, it all started in 2021. 2018. 2018. Yeah. You started in 2018 and now Skyroot is a big name. Yeah. How yeah. did this journey start? Uh, so in fact, like I was uh, working at uh, ISRO from 2012 to 2018. Six years I was there. I was a scientist there. And then uh, at that point of time, uh, I thought like whether we can start a private company in the rocket business. Of course, ISRO has been doing for quite some time. Uh, so private lo thought to. Uh, you know, we did that analysis and thought that okay, it is possible. It's very difficult, challenging, but uh, definitely possible. And uh, confidence which I In 2018, lo we quit our jobs. Me and Bharat, uh, actually, who is also uh, my very close friend, uh, he's also the co-founder of Skyroot, and we started in 2018 mid around June, July of that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, such a big launch. I think India's first ever private company that to a startup has done this uh, Vikram S. And it has gone globally. Yeah. So tell us, uh, how was the feeling when uh, Mr. Naren Modi actually announced it in Man Ki Baat? Yeah, yeah. No, it was a wonderful uh, feeling, actually. In fact, uh, we have been waiting for this moment since last four years. But company start years now, but rocket company got first to launch. That is the most important uh, thing. And uh, effort of you know a big team of ours. Uh, it took it took quite a uh, journey, four years. And also like, uh, uh, like uh, last few days, uh, one month before launch was very, 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 very hectic on matter. So in fact, like uh, weather wala delays, you know, there was some technical delays and all that. So whether it will come through really, uh, you know, on time, it was a lot of tension during mm -hmm. those times. But of course, everything went, uh, worked like clockwork and, you know, it, it came uh, really well. And it's, it's a proud moment. In fact, we didn't imagine that the entire India will watch it. And it was on most of the TVs. A lot of people stopped and watched it. Not only India, you know. globally, everybody watched yeah, it. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, a lot of, in fact, I see a like, lot of people when I go abroad as well. I've seen people watching it live. I was very surprised that uh, this kind of, uh, you know, big interest is there for the common public as well. It's a big uh, heartening thing for us, for our team, for the country, you know, it's a good step. It's a good starting step on our coach. And the mission is to be a good step. You know, so even though it's the first big launch or whatever it may be, it is a it's a, just a humble beginning for us. And that, uh, you know, we named it as Praram. Beginning chase is Next step is Next, uh, you know, Vikram 1 and the next launch. Yeah. Hmm. Within a year from now, we want to launch it. At the end, it will be like a seven story building tall rocket. It's hmm. a pretty big, four times bigger rocket than what we launched. Hmm. So it will launch, you know, multiple satellites to orbit. Uh, and that will be an even bigger milestone for us and it's even much more co complex to, to build it. So next one year our focus is mostly on that to see that these satellites reach orbit and uh, have a successful launch. And uh, so that will be a new beginning. Then we will uh, mass produce the rocket, increase more launches per year. So it will be a good, uh, good journey but a big uh, good starting will be when we launch next year. Yeah. yeah when yeah. we see uh, SpaceX, that also actually failed thrice and then they could uh, do something. Yeah. A person like Elon Musk. And you, as a beginner, has really launched it well. So, what is the comparison like and what do you think of it? Yeah, so in fact, uh, you know, uh, KTR Garo also was making that comparison. But, uh, you know, it, it's good to, uh, in fact, very rarely does a rocket launch to space and succeed in the first attempt. Yeah. That to buy a private company. Uh, so, we are glad to achieve that uh, feat. Uh, but of course, you know, that the, uh, there's no comparison with SpaceX. I would say SpaceX is way, way, way ahead now. And they're a big inspiration for us. And in fact, Elon Musk is a very big inspiration for me. Uh, so I think a very long way to go. Uh, in fact, like what SpaceX launch was happened almost in the 15 years ago, <laughs> you know. So now we are, of course, in an advanced world and, uh, you know, with big, bigger ambitions, etc. But it's a good start for us. Uh, but of course, a big inspiration from uh, SpaceX is also like probably we can say uh, the space sector also has moved forward and also our thinking also has changed and this big impact on all of us, I would say. As yeah. you said, you met uh, KTR Garu and he commented. So what is the contribution of uh, Government of Telangana in this? Yeah, so in fact, uh, KTR Garu has been engaging us from quite some time. You know, so I'm my first uh, engine test sign up when you interviewed us. In fact, the previous day itself, I think KTR Garu has uh, invited us. It's always quick to, uh, you know, find out whatever great innovations are happening uh, in the state and he invited us. We had a very good present chat. 
you know, and from that time, you know, we are in, uh, uh, you are in touch. And in fact, recently announced, uh, you know, India's first integrated, uh, yeah. you know, rocket manufacturing testing facility. Uh, uh, you know, we announced it recently, which will also be a big boost for us. It's always a great encouragement for the state government and also the think big. I think the government really thinks big. And like he says, like uh, the Telangana is like uh, India startup. You know, newest India startup is a very big startup as well. Uh, so I think very successful startup. So I think it'll be a good uh, uh, you know, mindsets have aligned, and I think it'll be a lot of great journey together in the Telangana state. Yeah, and yeah. when it comes to the. Uh, the country like India, where yeah. we need a lot of uh, people to come here in the space sector, because this is a very, very close sector, okay. not everybody enters, like engineers or doctors, yeah. right? So what uh, suggestion or advice you give to people who are seeing this and watching this? Yeah, so the advice is always think big. And for general, most people think, and first we'll start small. Chinna chase a success and or next padu jadham, next padu jadham jastham gani. But whatever effort that goes into building a small thing or a big thing is same. You know, so that's why always hit the big thing. You know, so always think big. Even though chala mandi on gunta rende, if you target something very big, fail ebata on gunta ro. But actually, it's opposite. When you target something very big. The odds of success will increase, you know, because mm -hmm. people want to support you. Everybody wants to get involved, so you get a lot of help to make it happen. True. So that's why the advice is like always in the space sector, especially. Uh, you, everything takes time, and matter. Only samachal, samachal. In fact, for uh, four years to rocket launch, it is like you know, very, very rare. You know, it takes several years to Chala launch. patience, kaal din. Chala patience, gawali. It's a, it's a long haul, long. Uh, it's, it's a long game, and matter. So for that, uh, always try to find something which is the next big thing in the sector, new satellite, or whatever in the space sector, or any sector it may be. You choose the you know what is the right big thing to solve, big problem to solve, hmm. and directly go after it. You know that that would be my advice, I would say. And the same thing with. Uh, uh, sky road, you know. So even mm. like whatever plans ahead, also we always want to target something really big. Whether it works or not, we want to go in the big direction. Yeah. <laughs> now that you are so famous, I'm sure the funding is also higher. How much funding are you expecting, and how much funding did you get in the recent times? So uh, we have raised like 526 crores, or something like that. We have raised mm. from the last four years. Uh, and uh, you know we'll keep raising funds and it's a pretty uh, costly affair to you know build rockets continuously launch build you know future technology etc so we'll keep raising funds more and more funds maybe in the next two two three years so we'll raise another few thousands of crores is the aim at least and uh, we have raised like as i told you know 526 crores and uh, we have launched uh, did our first launch now next year we do a uh, you know first uh, bigger rocket uh, launch and then we'll start getting revenues you know so then the need for external capital will reduce but mostly capital will go into future development, gaane, you know, mass production. Gaane also. When something is in the news or something really hits high, parents want their children to be in that profession. I am yeah. sure that seeing you and Bharat, a lot of parents must have come to you and asked for advice. Yeah, so especially after the launch, yeah, da, so a lot of people want to get connected to help us guide their kids on matter. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, you know, but, but uh, I think uh, the, our biggest advice always would be mostly like, uh, you know, we have to create that inspiration. One moment of inspiration changes everything under mm. together. So that moment of inspiration, go after that on matter. So basically parents, what they have to do is that create those moments as much as possible so mm. that the child hooks onto something really interesting. And then that builds a career, his career and his life and you know, career life was different later, you know, it's hmm. like, you know, it's part of your life basically. Uh, yeah. So choose something which you love and uh, my advice we will keep giving and also space is very exciting and they generally kids, they get very excited with space, gaani, rockets, gaani, and they get very excited and I meet a lot of people, a lot of people want to build a career, they are even second standard, third standard, I want to become an astronaut, I hmm. want to become a space scientist, I want to become a rocket scientist, and they, because they get fascinated with this. So the more you show the kids, the more exciting stuff, more technology you show, and that too space technology has that uh, you know that drive towards uh, to attract these people, Gabatti. And also it's a great uh, career opportunity. Also, you know now it's growing. But a lot of studies yeah. needed, a lot of hard work is needed. Yeah, yeah. So under passion or chinante, automatic people will work. Hmm. They'll keep running. What was the role of Indian government, and how much help did you get from the Indian government in this? Oh, I think uh, role of Indian government has been very very good. Uh, I think at almost 50 percent, we can say that uh, first launch law government only has taken because uh, rocket and the custom of the area approval of the authorization of the licenses, you know, licenses you know, first time in the country we are doing all that. Mm. It's very, very challenging and even for them. So we tried a lot with them. Uh, we have been working in the journey for several years. And in fact, like uh, very proud to say that government will not be delayed. 
generally right. first of its type projects law uh, you know always there will be you know there will be some red tape here some bureaucracy involved and you know, some delays might happen in our case having zero delay and government is very very proactive in fact government want to push this sector and man launch time kavalane manaki enta tappu nundo they had that equal kind of uh, importance to the launch date anamata so it was very phenomenal experience and also like man prime minister also uh, he uh, has a very important role to play in uh, giving this space reform I and mean, i lag about i don't think whether space reforms will happen at this pace in uh, you know this form right so he has uh, actually he has personal interest in the space sector because he has been seeing the importance of uh, space technology for quite some time uh, you know so because of that i think there is big change in the country and uh, it's also proved that uh, anything can uh, happen in the country you know mm-hmm. there's no uh, people think government support jasda le i think government is always in for uh, something really good initiatives always <laughs> so inna ka yeah. just now i was seeing a presentation you said sky is no limit yeah what exactly do you mean by that and as la ade anything can be done basically you know so man just imagination is what will limit us uh, and that's what even rocket and janal even kontar is enta complex ela chestam avutada money adu kuda private sector government so many things you know yeah. uh, so out of all these hurdles when you're able to launch it to space and then do it in a very short time and succeed in the first attempt Now, this is a proof even for us it gives confidence that anything is possible so we should dream higher even whether we fail or succeed you always have to be dream higher and you know always achieve it because sky is no limit basically yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. and do you think you are the major person to be a opening avenue for a lot of private companies in the space sector yeah and there are already good uh, they say that almost 100 companies have already registered for the space oh. uh, sector there are like uh, uh, rockets satellites you know space services so many uh, the industry is pretty large with so many different different kind of uh, sectors and sub sectors in the industry so there are many but i think this uh, launch will give an inspiration to many more people to say that you know the government is supporting there's a big sector you know and there's a lot of uh, things uh, synergy which can be generated a lot of business which can be generated kotta kotta ideas to chaala mandi mundu raavadaniki it gives good confidence anamata and otherwise it will always feel that if the event doesn't happen people will feel that okay outada leda the government support jasta money ostada all these doubts will be there when one one big event happens you know it's proved that you know more more uh, events can happen so that will inspire more people to do, do it so definitely that inspiration will be there but of course a lot and lot more startups are coming up right now i think yeah so what yeah. are the different collaborations you are doing so we are collaborating with lot of uh, you know companies uh, uh, you know satellite companies gaani in space transportation ani ante manam rocket ni earth nunchi space ki vertham but space slow kuda movement avasaram you know chaala mandi satellite mm. movement ani avasaram so in space companies tho you know we are collaborating you know so ala ekkadaithe synergy undo we are collaborating everywhere and satellites will be launching them so we are collaborating with almost all satellite companies for launching their satellites to space mm. you know and also like uh, uh, several options are matter for of collaboration within the space sector because everything is synergy and launch is everything and matter first mm. you have to go to space then only it's space true, <laughs> true. so launch rocket launch is the beginning yeah, everything. of everything so everything links has some link to it mm. so we would love to collaborate and we are collaborating with many people yeah so tell yeah. us about vikram 1 and how is the process going yeah and uh, vikram 1 in fact like one the launches in vikram s rocket we only started 2 years ago but vikram 1 we have been developing since uh, 2018 mm-hmm. so it's been more than 4 years into the journey already uh, but of course it's a very complex uh, rocket with uh, you know multiple stages you know a lot of testing jaise samu and uh, testing is going at very high pace manufacturing also is going at very high pace we want to bring together to a launch within a year from now which will be a big milestone uh, for us again for the country and you know for the commercial space sector you know because this is what will generate lot of revenues uh, in the future it can build sustainability for the company which, which is very important you know launching rocket is very fancy and all that but you have to generate good amount of revenues and keep the uh, business rolling and build new technologies in the future and expand the horizons increase india's share in the global market you know lot more things to do yeah. you know so that is so, so there is a long way to go It's just a pram uh, you know what we are launching yeah. is just a pram for a great beginning mm-hmm. so uh, h- how much uh, funding is going into vikram one and so till now we have as i uh, as i said right we have raised around 526 crores uh, you know until the first few launches of vikram one uh, maybe like we'll be spending around 400 crores in total uh, you know we'll be spending until the first few launches of vikram one and then of course we'll start getting the revenues and then we'll be investing more and more for mass production so it's a chain it's a reaction on what it will continuously will keep the ca- capital will keep rolling you know so with that so maybe like around i think in a nutshell around 400 crores up to the first few launches so we wish you yeah. your success also keeps rolling thank yeah. you so much pavan nice talking to you thank you thank you thank you thank yeah you. so that was uh, pavan pavan says that sky is the limit sorry sky is no limit and uh, please keep away your limiting beliefs keep watching and business